So I recently released a kit bashing add-on and I used it to create this thumbnail for a YouTube video. So I just wanted to remake this very quickly. And yeah, it's a paid add-on, but still. So shift A, let's start off with a sphere. I'm actually gonna use quad sphere. And I know you probably don't have that included, but there's download links below. It's a quad sphere is a free script. Okay, so we start with a sphere. Next step is to add a Bezier curve. So let's add that and it's inside the sphere. So we can't see it, but it's there. And next, if we press tab, we'll go into edit mode. And we don't actually need these curve points anymore. So I'm just gonna press control X and remove them. But we still have our curve object and we are still in edit mode. So that means we can use some of these curve tools. So I'm gonna click on this one that says draw and draw on the view part. And you'll see it draws a perfect curve. But if I try to do that on top of the sphere, uh, it doesn't really snap to the surface. For that, we're gonna have to press N and go to the tool settings and click on surface. And if I draw it again, it's snapping onto the surface perfectly. A little too perfectly in fact, so I wanna lift it off the surface. So I'm gonna click on absolute offset and 0.1 I believe is what I used. And now if I draw on this sphere right here, it's offset from the surface. So this is exactly what I wanted. So let's add another curve here. And another one over here. Let's remake that curve. It's a little too crazy. So I'm not going to make it perfect. I already have thumbnail, so why bother? And uh, it does a pretty good job of smoothing out our stroke, but sometimes it adds too many points, in my opinion. So I'm just going to select this control point, remove it. Maybe this one instead. Yeah, this one. We don't need this many curve points. The less points you have, the smoother the curve will be. And of course, we can always select all of them, right click, set handle, automatic, but that will probably smooth them out a little too much. So the rest, you might wanna do it by yourself and then just finesse it to your heart's content. So again, I already have the thumbnail, so I'm not gonna spend too much time doing this something like that. So it's not perfect, but let's move on. Let's st actually start using the add-on. So I already have it installed. We can see here because we have the panel with all of the uh, hotkeys. However, the add-on does not work very well when you have multiple separate splines in a single object. So we need to separate these. Sometime in the future, I'll fix this in an update, but for now we're gonna have to do it manually. So I'm going to edit mode, hover over any curve point, Press L, P, separate. And now for the next one, L, P, separate. And for the last one, it's already by itself. So we don't need to do that. And now we have three separate curves and the add-on will work perfectly. So again, I'm just gonna start with the middle one. So let's press two for our array, R to rotate, then S to scale, but that's not the scale I want. So zero to reset. Oh man, I reset my rotation, my bad. Zero resets all of your transformations. So uh, again, we'll done Alt this time while we're scaling to use this uh, the alternate algorithm. There you go, perfect. The alternate algorithm. And now this curve, select it, run the add-on. This preset is nice. I mean, I already know exactly which preset I used. Like go of Alt, stretch it a little bit. That's all right. So again, not gonna replicate it perfectly. And what preset did I use in the, oh yeah, this one, of course. One of my favorites, something like this. So with the add-on, of course, it's very easy to kit bash these curves, but I guess what I really wanted to show you guys was how to draw curves on top of a surface. So to finalize, all I did was just turn on cavity. Where's cavity? Oh, here it is. I forget where it is because I use a hotkey for it. And uh, that's pretty much it.